hopefully you can hear me okay. If you can hear me, put a one in the comments because I'm actually not on my phone this morning. So I'm not on my phone this morning for uh, reasons that I actually forgot my phone. So um, today, back into routine. Um, also, I thought morning session. So we had a full body session this morning when we went over a bit of boxing for the cardio element. Hey, Cheryl. Perfect. You can hear me. Awesome. Um, and then we also went into a bit more muscle strengthening work after that. Glute activation work, single leg hamstring work. Good morning. And um, then now we have Tai Chi and we have some outside sessions before more outside sessions and devices, Marlborough. But anyway, um, so this morning I'm packing my bag ready to go and I forgot my the bag with my phone and my house keys in it. Luckily I had the keys to the studio. Now I'm sat outside thinking time's ticking do I wake the family up and ring the doorbell? What would you do? Um, or do I just go I can still do it with my laptop. So I thought I'll do a happy medium. We have a, a long and thin house. It's quite hard to actually hear the doorbell anyway. So I'd ring the doorbell once. If no one answers, not meant to be, let's go. Maybe someone's up already. Um, so I ring the doorbell, no answer. And I'm like, right, I'm only going to ring that a little bit once. I'm, I'm going. So anyway, here we are, set up. And luckily I've got the keys to the studio. I can get back in for the school run and all being good. Um, but long story short, it's still the live stream all worked well for our morning sessions. We've got Tai Chi on now. I'm actually on on free devices going on. I'm live here. We've got Tai Chi downstairs. I've got music on, relaxing music on. Music it's, it's quite impressive technology these days. Now, my point is I can still do it without a phone and my house keys. And the reason I bring that up is because I got asked a question yesterday about do I need to count calories to lose weight? And the short answer is no, you don't need to count calories to lose weight, you just need to understand that calories do count. And I, I was speaking to someone yesterday who had been doing Slimming World on and off, which is fine, it works for a lot of people, um, but they'd come to a point where they were just like, nothing is happening, they're not really feeling any different, more importantly as well, let alone the weight. And they're just being told to eat more, could that be the reason my metabolism is slowing and the, the problem in this situation is that, one, you, quite often we're not aware of what's going on on the weekend. Two, calories are, are the king here. So even if you eat more of certain foods, if that ups your calorie intake over the day, over the week, that won't result in weight loss. However, there are certain macronutrients which can have a different impact. So if we look at protein, for example, that has more of a thermogenic effect, you're more likely to be full up. If you add in more fiber and protein, the fullness rating, the factor of them may mean that you eat less of something else. So if you might be feeling like you're eating more on a plate, so more fiber, more veg, more protein. However, you're actually eating fewer calories now because something else is missing. To give an example, if you go to someone's house and there's a roast dinner, and they've got all the food in the middle, and it's like a help yourself. Look at someone's plate who gets given the roasted potatoes first compared to someone who gets given the vegetables first. People are hungry, they'll serve what they're given, and then there's room space left at the end. Generally, not always, of course. You can work around that if you've got your eyes on the roast potatoes. But we eat what we're given. We eat what we serve. And this is a key thing to remember. Now, going backwards on this, you don't need to count calories to lose weight, you just need to know that they do count and that there's many ways that you can lower your calorie intake without counting them. For example, like I said, increasing your protein intake can be number one. By increasing your protein intake, it's the research is quite, kind of clear that it's very difficult to overeat on protein before you go, I'm just too full up. There was one study where they ate, an, I'm going to say a monumentous amount of protein. like like 350 plus grams of protein which you cannot get from food you had to supplement protein shakes to top that up um and a lot of them actually couldn't eat that much they were just too full up so the side effect is you're too full up 
which means that you're probably going to eat less of something else, which is a good thing when it comes to weight loss, when it comes to taking, losing weight, taking pressure off your joints, all the things that often we want to achieve, being more in control, controlling hunger, which is another factor that comes into this as well. So all of these things coming into it, um, <clears throat> we've got to consider actually maybe that's a good thing. Then you've got fiber, adding fiber as well will keep us full for longer. So we've got fiber, protein, two things that by default, without counting calories, they're gonna help. Number three would be something like intermittent fasting. Maybe can help without counting calories for the simple reason that you're not eating for parts of the day. By not eating for parts of the day, you're lowering the chances of overeating, which is gonna lower your calories over the day. However, if this promotes more of a binge restrict in, in you, then it's probably not a good tactic. And if you do have a tendency to binge eat, comfort eat, I do see this maybe exacerbate that sometimes when people go into that fasting, it's just almost an excuse to do it. It's a bit like some of the research around um, perhaps restriction and vegan diets. It, it gives some people a reason to restrict foods further when they're not actually, they don't really want to eat a vegan diet, they just do it, so it almost gives them permission to perhaps not eat or say no to foods, um, going down more of the disordered eating route there, but I digress. Um, low carb, again, another way to lower your calories without actually counting calories. If you cut a third of your plate, you're going to lower your calories. Now, all these are tactics to achieve the common principle, which is, calorie deficit so no you don't need to count calories however if you're really frustrated and like nothing's really working you feel like you're trying really hard with intermittent fasting low carb then you do vegan then you do this and you're just really struggling you're eating healthily but you're not losing weight i would suggest that you do count your calories or at least write down everything you eat for three days for three days and share it with someone Tell someone you're going to do it. Share it with someone who can potentially help you. It's, it's something that we do in, to kind of troubleshoot stuff a lot. Because number one, we're sometimes not aware of what we're eating, how much we're eating. Number two, we can sometimes see, okay, plain and simple, okay, can we increase that a little bit? Don't necessarily track it for longer, but can we increase that a little bit? Do we need to just change things a little bit for two weeks to see how you respond to that? Because it's, it's really easy to say I'm eating healthily, but then when we go into it in a bit more detail, we can sometimes troubleshoot things and see these little changes that if we make will have a big difference over time. So in short, do you need to count calories? No, there's many ways, tactics, slimming world, weight watchers, all these things and forms of, but ultimately you don't need to understand that to, you don't need to count calories or understand that why calories work or anything like that, but it's good to have the knowledge to do that, to know that when changes are made, when things are working, you know why they're working. So that when they stop working, you can see, okay, is it because of this? Is it because I'm eating a lot of these speed foods and they're still containing lots of calories in and I'm not really taking away anything else? Can I add more protein fiber to my meals? So if you want, um, I've just recently put together a few kind of sample meal plans that kind of help give people some ideas if you do want a copy of that just comment below with meal plan and i'll send that over to you it's not going to be like i'm not saying copy it all it's not going to be like the the game changer of all it's just some ideas some balanced meals some quick ideas um comment below meal plan and i can send that over to you anyway have a awesome day and i will see you soon take care